Have you ever dined with a ghost? Yes, you heard it right. A ghost. Welcome to a chilling journey where spectral servers and phantom patrons are part of the dining experience. We're not talking about your run-of-the-mill, spine-tingling Halloween-themed dining here. We're referring to the eerie, authentic encounters of the supernatural kind, reported by both staff and customers in restaurants and bars across the globe. In this exploration, we'll take you through the shadowy corners and creaky old bar stools of some of the world's most haunted hospitality venues. From the bustling city of New York to the historic lanes of London, we'll feed your curiosity with tales of the unexplained, the unnerving, and the downright spooky. These are not just stories, they are experiences, narrated by those who've witnessed the inexplicable and lived to tell the tale. So brace yourself as we delve into the eerie world of haunted hospitality. Our first stop is at the White Horse Tavern, a bar notorious for its spectral patron. Nestled in the heart of New York's West Village, the White Horse Tavern is steeped in history and lore. Built in the early 19th century, this watering hole has seen its fair share of famous patrons, including the renowned poet Dylan Thomas. Thomas, a Welsh poet and writer, was known for his love of liquor and the written word. His affinity for the White Horse Tavern is well documented. It was here, in 1953, that he allegedly downed his last drink, a fatal cocktail of 18 straight whiskies. Legend has it that Thomas returned to his hotel that night, fell into a coma and never woke up. But death, it seems, couldn't sever Thomas's ties to his beloved tavern. Staff and patrons alike have reported uncanny encounters that suggest the poet might still be lingering around, perhaps trying to quench an eternal thirst. Barkeep speak of a mysterious figure occupying Thomas's favorite corner, nursing a drink in the dim light. Some have even claimed to hear a faint voice reciting poignant verses, the lines echoing in the hushed tavern. Patrons too have had their share of spectral encounters, Chilled whispers, disembodied laughter, a sudden drop in temperature. These are just some of the eerie experiences attributed to the ghost of Dylan Thomas. One patron even swears he saw the poet's reflection in the tavern's old mirror, the image vanishing as quickly as it appeared. The stories might send a shiver down your spine, yet they add a layer of mystique to the White Horse Tavern. There's something thrilling about sipping a drink in the same spot where a legendary poet once sat, possibly even sharing the space with his lingering spirit. So if you ever find yourself at the White Horse Tavern, perhaps you'll have a chance to share a drink with Dylan Thomas himself. Next, we cross the Atlantic to visit the Marsden Grotto, a restaurant with a chilling maritime ghost. Perched on the rugged coastline of South Shields, England, the Marsden Grotto is not your average eatery. This unique restaurant is carved into a cliff face, its atmospheric interior a reminder of its storied past. But it's not the unique location that sends shivers down the spines of its guests. It's the ghostly inhabitant who is said to linger here. John the Jibber, as he's affectionately known, was a smuggler in the 18th century, a man who made his living in the shadowy underworld of illicit goods. It was within these very walls of the Marsden Grotto that he met his untimely end. The tale goes that John was double-crossed by his companions, left to die in the darkness of the grotto, his spirit, it seems, was not so easily dismissed. Guests and staff alike report eerie occurrences that can't quite be explained. The clinking of glasses from empty tables, the whisper of unseen voices, and the chilling feeling of being watched. Many believe it's John, forever trapped within the grotto's rocky confines, making his presence known. Some have even claimed to have seen a spectral figure, a man dressed in the attire of a bygone era, watching them from the shadows. Staff members often recount tales of strange happenings, items moved from their original places, lights flickering without reason, and the unsettling feeling of an invisible hand brushing past. But it's not just the staff who've had brushes with the supernatural. Diners have reported similar experiences, a sudden drop in temperature, a fleeting shadow in the corner of their eye, a whisper in their ear when no one is near. There's a sense of the uncanny that hangs in the air at the Marsden Grotto, a sense that you're sharing the space with someone, or something unseen. It's a dining experience that offers more than just a meal. If you're dining at the Marsden Grotto, beware of the uninvited guest who may join your table. Our next stop takes us to the heart of London, to a pub with connections to the infamous Jack the Ripper. 
welcome to the Ten Bells pub, a place steeped in rich history and eerie tales. Established in the mid-17th century, this pub has stood the test of time, weathering both world wars, the Great Fire of London, and witnessing countless moments of human history unfold. But it's the pub's connection to the notorious Jack the Ripper that sends chills down the spines of those who dare to venture inside. In the late 1800s, the Ten Bells pub was a common haunt for the most vulnerable women of London's East End, many of whom tragically became victims of the then unknown serial killer, Jack the Ripper. Among these were Mary Kelly and Annie Chapman, whose spirits are said to linger in the pub, eternally trapped within its ancient walls. Patrons of the pub have reported chilling encounters that defy logical explanation. Whispers of a spectral woman dressed in Victorian clothing appearing in the corner of one's eye, only to vanish upon a second glance. The inexplicable scent of old perfume wafts through the air, an echo of a bygone era. Glasses have been known to shatter inexplicably, and the sounds of soft sobbing are often heard emanating from empty corners of the pub. Perhaps most chilling is the apparition of a young woman believed to be Annie Chapman, seen wandering aimlessly around the pub before vanishing into thin air. Some have even claimed to have seen the ghostly figure of Jack the Ripper himself, forever prowling the premises in search of his next victim. These spectral sightings and uncanny encounters lend an air of mystery and terror to the Ten Bells pub. Yet, despite its gruesome history, or perhaps because of it, the pub remains a popular destination for locals and tourists alike, drawn in by the allure of its ghostly inhabitants and its connection to one of history's most infamous killers. So next time you're in London, will you dare to have a pint at the Ten Bells pub? As our ghostly gastronomic tour comes to an end, one has to wonder, do these spirits merely seek company or something more? As we've journeyed through haunted eateries and pubs, we've heard tales that are as chilling as they are intriguing. From the spectral patron of New York's White Horse Tavern, forever nursing his ethereal drink, to the haunting melodies echoing through the Marsden Grotto in South Shields, England, these stories have taken us on a thrilling ride through the world of the supernatural. We've also ventured into the heart of London, to the Ten Bells pub, where the echoes of a macabre past still linger, sending shivers down the spines of patrons. The common thread in these tales? A palpable presence that refuses to be ignored, a spectral whisper in the ear, a chill that creeps up your spine, an unseen guest joining you as you sip your pint or savour your meal. These haunted bars and restaurants serve up more than just food and drink. They offer a glimpse into a world that exists just beyond our perception, a world that refuses to be forgotten. These establishments stand as silent witnesses to history, their spectral patrons a testament to times gone by. These spirits, it seems, are not just mere apparitions, but echoes of a past that refuses to fade. The idea of haunted bars and restaurants is indeed a fascinating one. It challenges our perception of reality blurring the line between the physical and the ethereal. It serves as a reminder that we are but transient guests in a world that has seen centuries come and go, a world that is home to more than just the living. So the next time you dine out, remember you may not be eating alone. What's your take on these haunted tales? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this spectral journey, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, keep your eyes open and your senses alert. You never know who or what might be joining you for dinner.